Hey everyone. So as if this time was not hard enough as it was with COVID, the American black community has been affected yet again. And so it's difficult to post motivating content while so many are feeling a sense of outrage and so much going on right now. So I'm going to pause, slow down, or at least take into consideration the posting of new content during this period. Of course, people still need to work and get information security jobs, so I can't stop completely. And I do have episodes coming down the pipe, but it is something to consider. I also want to share a personal story that relates to this. A friend and I were driving once, but he realized he left his wallet at home, which had his driver's license, of course, in it. And I said, that's not a big deal. They can just look you up and, you know, in case you get pulled over. He then looked at me and right then I kind of figured it out. He's black. And it hit me then how privileged of a life I had. It then hit me how scary driving while black really is. And I might not be white, Christian, and from the suburbs, but I'm not black and male either. And so I may not have the best things to say at this moment, but I realize staying silent isn't an option. I don't have a TV and I'm not on Twitter often, but the little I did see made me realize silence and status quo is almost as bad. And diversity and inclusion are an integral part of the podcast and the work that I do. I've never called it out as I wanted my lineup of guests to speak for itself. Many of my guests are black. What's interesting is for the longest time, it was rare to see brown or black people at a security conference at all. It was quite lonely. And for listeners outside of the US, please try to empathize with whatever social divide you have in your country. It could be the religious minority in your country, the darker skinned, those of a lower social caste, or the poor. Whoever it may be, there are always those that are marginally suppressed and or oppressed. So, I stand with the black community against racism, violence, and hate. Now more than ever, we must support one another as allies and speak up for justice and equality. Black Lives Matter.